It's a period movie that isn't really period. It's a, it's a modern take on period movie. Um, we're obviously we're supposed to be set in the 17th century, but and things the the language of the ship and is from 17th century ships. The language of the movie is really from 17th century, but we've we've had a lot of modern elements. It's a lot more stylized. Um, um, you know, we've got very stylized color palettes, and we've got clean, stark lines that I don't think you'd see normally in a real in the real period. It's 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 more of a comic book period movie than 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 a real true period drama. Behind us here we have Buckingham's the front prow of Buckingham's airship. Um, Buckingham's logo is the lion and we have a great carved lion here which we've seen in Würzburg as well. And we most of the action takes place just on the front you know the prow of the ship. We're going to move the steering wheels right at the front. It's not quite installed yet. Uh, there's about we're about 10 days away from shooting so it's the paint is there, it's not patinaed, it's not aged, we have rigging to go, we've got sails, lots more layers have to come in the next uh, week anyway. Um, but this, this stands in, right now it's dressed as Buckingham ship and we convert it, there's a, quite a large conversion to recreate the Cardinal ship which is quite different, the color scheme is very different, it's red and black like the rest of his, his uh, guards and everything. Um, and the whole top, basically the, sh the, the main hull stays the same, the, we extend the prow here and the carving changes, the um, cabin on the top is completely stripped and a new one, a much bigger one, is going on because the Cardinal ship is about one and a half to almost two times larger than um, Buckingham's ship. So, but we only can have this, we have this set. We have to make it seem bigger and digitally, of course, uh, in the visual effects world, it'll become a lot bigger and we'll see the whole ship. Oh, I never would have dreamed I would be making a, a crazy well, even just a ship like this, let alone a, a floating ship like this, it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. The whole movie is a lot of fun, and I'm sure the audience will think the same. What we have behind us here is Buckingham's office, and this is in the Tower of London, so it's very British. We've got oak wood paneling. He, he's, he's a master of, he's a war machine, he loves his war machine and war mongering. So basically, Paul and I decided that all he has in his office for decoration is pieces of history of war and guns and weapons and things like that. Because he, he's the one who brings a, over the first airship. I mean, he's, he's, he's forward thinking in his weaponry and everything. So what we have here, we have a, well, this is empty at the moment, but there's a secret chamber here with, it's like James Bond where they open the secret panel and there's all these crazy guns. 